Welcome to my world. These are all random items from my pantry. We have the shelves in the dining area where we eat our dinner. And then we have a small closet that I put shelves in. We're gonna do a Alfredo. I have my frozen chicken. You don't need to pre-cook your meat. If you wanna sear it, that's fine. I just consider it extra pots to clean, so I don't do that. Your crock pot will make it absolutely delicious without that step. I got my Alfredo. Do yourself a favor. Do not buy it at the supermarket because they're expensive. I even seen Mammoth for almost four dollars a can when they have them for a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. And I get my broccoli cuts also at the Dollar Tree. The chicken was gifted to me from our food pantry haul. For this tuna noodle casserole. I have two cans of tuna that I pick up at Dollar Tree and the Velveeta cheese packet because I won't buy a huge brick of it and I don't use it that often. A can of cream of mushroom soup. You can use frozen peas. I have a can of them. I have a box of macaroni here from Kraft and I'm going to add some extra macaroni just so there's enough. We're going to get these two dinners going. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and this is Let Us Eat. We're going to do two fantastic dinners that are really easy to do. One on the stovetop, one in the crock pot. You'll see what the one in the crock pot looks like on a plate at the end of the video. We're going to start by filling up a pot of water to get the elbow macaroni going. Then we're going to dump everything into the crock pot. I love non-measurement meals. I am a big fan of dump and go meals and it's crocktober month and I want to use my crock pot even more than I already do during the week especially when I have really busy days don't forget to smash on that subscribe button. there's a playlist down below titled cook with me and Dollar Tree dinners for your enjoyment and I'll explain about our awesome giveaways later within the video I always let the water run for a few seconds before I fill up my pot. I like to use the big pot because it works well and it doesn't overboil like the smaller ones do. If you've never boiled water before and you're just starting out from home, I always fill up the water to about three quarters of the way full. Then we'll put a dash of salt in it. And then once the water gets going and the macaroni is in the pot, I add a, either a tablespoon of butter or cooking oil. Probably going to be butter today because we haven't replaced my oil that my husband finished. I'm going to on the burner. Set it to high heat. I'm going to add the salt in it. I always make sure it's the correct burner too because there's been a time or two where I did the wrong one. The burr months. I love the burr months. I am so happy that it is sweater weather. But not up here in my humble abode because the lady downstairs likes chronic heat. And what I mean by chronic, it gets 60 degrees and they have their heat on and that's just awful. Because 70 degrees is nice outside but obscene in my home. Alright, let's get that crock pot plugged in for the other dinner. A couple nights during the week where my husband either plays guitar, he usually does it at home, or he treats himself. And I don't have to cook dinner for him, just myself. So today, I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to get the crock pot on too low. This is a real easy dinner to do. It'll cook on low for about four to six hours. I have here the chicken. And I am going to rinse it before I toss it into the crock pot. I hear the stove top gurgling over there. Careful with 
frozen foods because you can actually cut yourself on them or scratch your hand up. Into the crock pot and drop right on in just like that. We're going to season it. Throw out salt and black pepper. I am not a fan of salt. Very rarely use it. Once in a great while I'll need it for something. Oh, about two to three teaspoons. I can just eyeball that in. I did a couple of years of culinary school, but the baking killed me, so, and my math. I can take the broccoli cuts and dump them on in frozen. This is a really lovely three ingredient dump and go meal. Now we're going to open up this awesome Prego. It's classic Alfredo. I've been using it for a very long time from the Dollar Tree. It is delicious and it's so much easier than trying to make it yourself, especially if you can't get it to thicken the way the canned variety does. I'm going to add in the lovely Alfredo plus an entire can of water. I'm going to rinse the can and dump all that extra contents stuck to it into the crock pot so nothing goes to waste. I believe that tip was from Melissa Johnson, a longtime viewer. I'm dumping on in. We'll come back in a little bit and we'll mix everything up. Make sure it is on low. Water is almost to a rapid boil. It's starting to bubble on the sides. So in the meantime, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees for the tuna casserole. Go ahead and dump in your contents of your box. I think I see some oil up on top of my fridge. It's like I say, you can't scare me. I have children and I have a Jacqueline. Lover, but whoa. And about a cup in my overhead box that I have. Stir it. Now you're going to add your oil or butter. I'll be having cataract surgery soon on my right eye, and I cannot wait to have it done. About a tablespoon. Old school, before cooking spray became a thing and oils in the house all the time. My grandma cooked with oils on special occasions and certain things to sear and make tasty. Meanwhile, on the other side of the kitchen, we're going to take care of the mixture part for our tuna noodle casserole. I have my round and baking dish. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna have two cans of tuna, cream soup, the garlic salt black pepper, the cheese, and the peas. Eat your peas and you can do as you please. Well, the only way I eat peas is in soups, stews, and tuna casseroles. Otherwise, I don't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Now that I have everything taken care of, I went ahead and did all the cans to make things simpler. You're going to drain your tuna fish. It always sticks to the side of the can here. Sounds like that water is at a raging boil. Two cans of tuna is perfect for this dish.
get the peas washed out here. I'm going to check on the macaroni in a moment. Go ahead and dump the peas in. I always like to stir the macaroni or whatever pasta you're cooking. Egg noodles would be perfect for this as well. I just wanted to show you that you can take a box of mac and cheese and make it into an awesome dinner. You see what I'm doing? I always make sure, for the most part, that nothing's cut off. You can use cream of chicken, cream of celery, I love cream of mushroom. This is a generic brand that you, I believe came from the Dollar Tree at one time. I don't know if they still carry it. Get all that off the spoon here. And you take your spices. This is a combo. But you would do to taste how you like it the garlic, salt, black pepper. I did about three teaspoons. Now we're going to add the Velveeta. And then when the elbow is done, we're going to add the elbows. I'm going to see if my almost 13 year old will look like tuna noodle casserole. Because so I was about 13 when I fell in love with it. I hated it though before that because mom always did it at least once a week. Squeeze that all in there. Those noodles are done. I can smell them. shake a little bit so you don't get it on the floor and have an accident the oven's ready to go it is preheated you can take these peas if you have another can with the macaroni and make macaroni and peas which is a delicious side or a delicious dinner for children that are picky so that's going to be reserved the rest of it I'm gonna mix it. Some onion flavor. I'm gonna put the rest of this little packet in. About a teaspoon's in there. You can use a small real onion, diced small, or minced small. The wonderful thing about this dish is pre-cooked everything in it. This is mixed very nicely. Mozzarella. cheese is melted and everything is all bubbly on the inside. Let's check on the Alfredo. Move your lid. Everything looks pretty decent in here. Well, it smells really good, the cheese sauce. Let's turn the chicken over. So I added in about a cup of flour. So it gets nice and thick because we added the water. 
and the vegetables were frozen you'll get water from that and as well as the chicken we'll come back later and we'll take a look at this I'm take that macaroni that we have left over I'm going to show you how to make a really easy cheesy mac and cheese here's that packet we reserved and for my kid who's very very picky have a nice mac and cheese if they don't like the tuna and dump in the rest of the elbows here and I have this reserved cheese sauce from a Kraft Deluxe Squeeze that all out to the best of your ability. Perfect. Washed a bunch of dishes. Thought to myself, let's make Jacqueline a real simple mac and cheese. I want to make sure all of that powder is combined with the cheese sauce. I'm getting three dishes. The chicken alfredo with broccoli. Really easy tuna noodle casserole from just items on hand. And with the leftovers, some mac and cheese. Grab my baking dish. I've had it for quite a few years. I'm not sure where I got it from. I think it was a gooseberry patch. Maybe that's the name when it used to be a catalog. I'm not sure if it's still around. So it's about 20, 30 years old. Make sure everything comes out. And then you're going to spread it. Now Jacqueline won't eat it. There's a layer of mozzarella cheese. But we're going to put some Parmesan. Here, Parmesan. And just sprinkle all over the top of it. Perfect side for Thanksgiving coming up. Mac and cheese. Just two teaspoons of the fresh black cracked pepper. And this is going to go into a preheated oven for about 20 minutes until it's all bubbly and the parmesan melts on the top. It's been in for almost 15 minutes now. So we're going to take a peek. Don't let it cool. I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. I'm going to add in the bonus dish of mac and cheese. Oh yes. All done. Up there, all bubbly, so I'm not gonna even reset the clock. So 25 minutes too long, about 13 minutes. Here's a close up of the tuna noodle casserole done with the mac and cheese. It smells so good. Let it cool down for a few minutes. And we're gonna check on the crock pot that takes between five and six hours. So you want to make sure your chicken is done completely. It's done, and the timer went off. Keep that shut off. Retrieve the mac and cheese. Put some on a plate so you can see the casserole and the mac and cheese, the bonus meal. To grab some of the mac and cheese. Mm. 
Let me put a little bit on my plate. No easy pantry friendly dinner. I'm gonna take some of the casserole now. Just kind of cut into it. Look how lovely that came out. A nice layer of cheese, tuna noodle casserole, and a mac and cheese. The bonus meal or side. Here's what they look like on the plate. Here's what the broccoli alfredo with chicken looks like. It came out nice and thick because we put that amount of flour in it and the chicken. Always make sure it's done. This is perfect for a damp cold day in the fall or a rainy day. Awesome comfort food. In today's video, we did a easy tuna noodle casserole with a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. We made it nice and cheesy. Then we did a chicken alfredo in the crock pot with broccoli. With the leftover macaroni, we did a beautiful macaroni and cheese with a cheese sauce packet that I have reserved and a bonus dish for you guys. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. Gift cards. The list is Amazon, eBay. Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, Burger King, McDonald's, Walmart, and Dollar Tree. $10 amounts. You must comment, become a part of the growing community. You must be subscribed and a U.S. resident. If you'd like them, send via email. They're $10 amounts and we'll still confirm that you're a U.S. resident. We're looking for 10 people to give out a five items price pack from the Dollar Tree, valued at $6.25. Same rules apply. The information's down below. My email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. My Facebook page and group is also linked in the description box down below with our other social sites and playlists. Thank you for watching.